idiot. A dramatic turnaround is expected next month. The California legislature is due to vote on a bill that will completely prohibit the sale of baby bottles containing the dangerous substance. In their attempt to derail the bill regarding the prohibition of bisphenol A, the plastic industry has hired many lobbyists. The use of alternative chemicals will increase the price of consumer products around the world, which is why the plastic industry will go to extreme lengths to block the bill's passage. They sent a representative here to our university and said to my colleague, my main colleague and I, is there a mutually beneficial outcome we can arrive at where you do not publish this paper? And uh, we told them, no, there is no mutually beneficial outcome here. Uh, go away, we are going to publish this paper. Out of 104 studies carried out by EU members in Japan, and in the USA, 94 found hormonal influences. In 11 studies carried out by the industry and financed by the industry, no influence was found. What does that mean? It is exactly what the tobacco industry did, trying to convince people that smoking caused no harm to them. Um, and the plastic industry is doing exactly the same thing. They are producing biased, fraudulent papers that claim bisphenol A is safe. The Japanese are not waiting for legislation to prohibit use of plastic bottles. Market forces are at play, and in Tokyo, virtually all shelves are stocked only with glass bottles. This trend is growing and will soon encompass all of Japan. The plastic is of high quality, but people buy only glass. So, glass bottles are better than plastic? Glass is better. I find it very worrying when my two-year-old plays with her ducks in the bath. Another chemical proven to disrupt hormones and cause cancer is platelet, a plastic softening substance often found in popular baby products. In its natural state, platelet is a liquid. A chemical laboratory ordering the substance will find a label warning of the dangers of handling it and that it may cause cancer. This plastic duck, on the other hand, has no warning label. What's the connection, you ask? Well, 40% of the duck's weight results from platelet, which is, I remind you, a hormone-disrupting agent also suspected of causing cancer. Together, they cause uh, a combination of effects that is the worst possible thing that could happen, particularly for a male baby. About two months ago, the European community decided to prohibit the sale, marketing and production of ducks and pacifiers of this type that contain this dangerous chemical. What's happening in Israel regarding this? Nothing. No standard and no regulation. Substances that endanger babies in Europe don't matter here in Israel. Pacifiers containing the dangerous substance can be found in every store. We're informed by the Ministry of Trade and Industry that the European community's decision is based on a caution principle, and the U.S. does not have similar regulations. Our approach to the chemicals is that they are innocent until proven guilty. What I mean is, first we release the chemicals and afterwards we find damage. If there is enough damage, we decide how they should be regulated. The scientific community is not unanimous regarding the dangers from these chemical substances. What has been proved on mice does not necessarily reflect on humans, especially with regard to the quantities discharged from the bottles and pacifiers. Those opposed to the steps taken by the EU claim it won't be possible to determine the measure of the danger until research on humans has been carried out. I think that we as independent people should make our own decisions and we should base them on research on animals. When you're not certain, don't give a permit. That's the principle. Better that and apologizing to the manufacturer for the loss of sales than apologizing to parents whose children were born with birth defects. It bothers me that I don't know what people will say about this in 20 years from now, and if I have a child, I don't want him to develop something because I wasn't observant enough or because I didn't do something I should have.
I don't want a nine-year-old child to menstruate. She should be playing with dolls, not tampons. She's small, she's young, and these things are inappropriate for children of her age. Arla, I'd just like to point out that in a recent court case in Israel between two bottle marketing companies, the judge ruled that while it has been proven that bisphenol A leaks from bottles manufactured by one of the companies marketed in Israel, it cannot be established that this is harmful to infants because all the research has been conducted on animals rather than on humans. That's the court's ruling in regard to a dispute between two companies. Chaim Rivlin, thank you.